Offer. And speaking of the greatest in Santa Clarita, we have a very special guest in studio. We have Beth Phillips, and she is with doTERRA Essential Oils. And uh, she walked in here, she had this really cool briefcase, and then she opened it up, and it just the aromas in here are fantastic. It just <laughs> smells wonderful in here now. Uh, and then, uh, but uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Doing well. Now, uh, you're going to be at the, uh, the KHGS Home and Garden Show. Yes, this and will be our second year. This is your second year? How was the first year? Amazing. Yeah. We were extremely busy. Oh, we that's had good a news. fabulous time. We oiled up everybody. I think the whole hallway as soon as you walked in. Yeah, appropriately <laughs> oiled up everybody. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing is, so uh, we'll get into that, uh, what essential oils are in just a second. So, mm -hmm. But you guys will be there again this year yep. at the Home and Garden Show. Yes. So make sure you stop by and uh, yeah. listen to, to this. And then you'll be able to know which ones you want and mm -hmm. stuff like that. We're going to try and dig through and see. All right. Okay? Uh, but how did you get involved with essential oils? Um, I was in my accountant's office and I got a migraine. And she gave me one to try that her daughter had given her to help with migraines. And I was amazed that it helped because um, I get the optic ones where you see the halos. And I was afraid I wasn't oh. going to be able to drive home. And it took those away. And I'd been on a pretty heavy-duty prescription at the time that I didn't have with me. And when I saw the power of an oil, which most people, me included at the time, just thought, oh, you know, oils smell nice, maybe lavender relaxes you a little bit, but did not realize at all the scope of the therapeutic value that they have, I was blown away. And I just dove in head first and didn't look back. So uh, lavender is one of those things. Because mm -hmm. I mentioned that when you came in, I was yeah. like, oh, lavender or mm -hmm. something. Uh, and my, my son was sick one time, and we put lavender under his crib. Oh, yeah. And it helped him sleep. Definitely. Yeah. So that yeah. was something we did. So I've been involved in essential yeah. oils. Look at me. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> All right. Feeling good. Uh, okay. So um, you can go to Penny's, P-E-N-N-I-E-S, the number 4healthcare.com, Penny's 4 Healthcare. Dot com if you want more information on Beth Phillips and her essential oils. Uh, but, okay, so what are uh, what are essential oils? What, what are they for people who don't know? Very simply, they are natural aromatic compounds that come from various parts of the plants. They can come from the roots, stems, leaves, bark, flowers, and they are the plant's medicine cabinet. When something happens and the plant gets hit by a pest or disease, they use these oils to repair themselves. And since plants come from the earth and are carbon-based, as are we, when we apply these oils to our bodies or take them internally or breathe them in, our body knows what to do with them. And they're really incredible. And so, so is there a range of stuff that they, what can they be used for? Because, <laughs> I, I mean, you talk about plants fixing themselves. Mm -hmm. Can they... You know, well, obviously you said migraines. Uh -huh. That's one thing. What else can they be used for? It's funny. We have a saying that's kind of just developed, and it's, I've got an oil for that. Oh, okay. Because pretty much anything <laughs> under the sun you can think of, small things, chronic things, um, we use them every day. This case that you see here sits yeah. on my counter, and that's our medicine cabinet. That's what we go to. That's what my kids go to. Um, it's our first line of defense, and then if we need something stronger than that, we always have that option, but we go here first. And it's a natural way to go first, and mm -hmm. you don't natural have to Natural way, about it. no side effects, which is something a lot of people are really looking for, and um, extremely therapeutic and helpful on a physical and emotional level, which is really, really important. Okay, so you talk about physical and emotional level, so uh, how can... Let's talk first about, like, physically, how can they help people? Mm -hmm. And, um, you, I mean, you mentioned a little bit, but physically they can help people as well. Yeah, they help. Uh, peppermint regulates body temperature, so it's good to use for fevers on children. It's wonderful. Oh. You can apply it to the back of the neck and the forehead as long as they don't get it in their eyes. Yeah. Yeah, you never want to get news the, bears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't get the oils in your eyes or your ears, but other than that, um, pretty much your body you can put, is So you surface. can put peppermint on the on your if your kid has a forehead, uh, well, I know kids have foreheads. <laughs> if your kid has a fever, mm -hmm. you put it on their forehead. And, yeah, forehead, and back helps. of the neck, and it helps regulate body temperature. It helps what? bring it down. It's really great. Simple. No and the idea. nice thing is you can't overdo it. So when you're in an acute situation like a stomach flu or a fever, just keep reapplying every 15 minutes until the fever comes down, okay. which is nice. Because if you're familiar with like traditional medicine, you can give them a dose of something. And if it doesn't come down, you're not supposed to go do it again for four hours. So then you start panicking. You end up in urgent care 
because you don't want to overdose them. And you can't really yeah. do that with the oils. Okay, so that's a question. Y you can ingest some of these. Exclusive to this company, doTERRA. Oh, you okay. Oh, wow. Them. Yeah, so okay. that's really important. Um, we drink citrus oils on a daily basis to detoxify, but that's exclusive to doTERRA. The stuff that you're going to find in your normal health food store does not undergo the testing that this company does. And so it'll normally say on the bottle, do not ingest for external use only. So if people are hearing this and, and get excited, don't just run down to your local store and buy stuff. And buy just any essential Yeah, they aren't oils. tested for the quality and the purity that these are. Okay, so you can ingest. So you talked about stomach flu. Mm -hmm. a, which one do you take for stomach um, There's flu? a blend called Digest Zen. And it has like fennel, ginger, anise. Okay. You can put it on topically on your stomach. It works so quick. Um, you can drink it, but it does have like that black licorice taste. So for oh. people who don't like that, um, we I'm buy empty that. gel caps. Okay. And you can put it in there and swallow it. You don't have to taste it, and it gets to do its work. Gotcha. Okay. And then okay, so uh, emotionally, you talk. So physically, you have illnesses uh, and stuff like. That. Emotionally, how can this stuff? Emotionally, work? they are so beneficial. Um, for children, it helps calm them down. For moms that are dealing with stressful days, um, the mood support is almost immediate, which is incredible because a lot of times women are one of the last to take care of themselves. Yeah, I get mad at my wife for that. Yeah, yeah. no, I know exactly what you're so talking about. So we, you know, we can get in a place that's really bad. And if you go looking for um, a medication route, sometimes those can take a couple weeks to take effect. These can work in five minutes. So you can do both. But in the meantime, you have this to kind of tide you over. And I think that's so important because there's so many, you know, people are in sad places. No. And we keep hearing about it. And so to have this to go to, um, the oils work on a cellular level. They can actually penetrate the cell wall, the cell membrane. Um, and they, they get in there and they do their work. And your body knows when you put them on what you need what they need to work on. So even if you grab the wrong oil, it's not going to do something bad in your body. It will have a good benefit. And so it's just use them, use them daily, consistently, and you're going to just reap the benefits emotionally and physically. It's going to help raise your mood. Um, it's going to help with anxiety, feelings of stress, anything like that. Wow. So, I mean, not physically, emotionally, essential oils. Mm-hmm. You do it. It's the whole package. Yeah, you can do anything. Uh, can it? Uh, so, can you leave me like a, a gallon. maybe a cauldron of the stress <laughs> yes, relief? If for that's sure. <laughs> if I could get a maybe one of those. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Give me, yeah, give me one of those. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Um, so, I mean, go to penniesforhealthcare.com. Uh, that's pennies, the number four, healthcare.com to learn more about Beth and DoTerra essential oils. Is there anything that can um, that uh, can make my house clean. Uh, do any of we those? We clean, yes. Uh, I oh. clean with them, definitely. Oh, okay. Um, we have a blend. Oh, actually, called, it does clean. It okay. does. <laughs> we have a blend called On Guard that we use, and um, I dilute it in a spray bottle with some water, and I clean everything. Oh, with that's it. okay. I was totally kidding, but no, you can't clean yeah, with you these do. also. And I cook with them okay. too. Does it do laundry? We put it in the laundry to help <laughs> clean, sanitize the laundry. I put it in my dishwasher. Oh man. Yeah. I was trying to be funny, and then there's, like, a real use for it, so this is just weird. <laughs> That's why I said I have an oil for that. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally, when there's pretty much something for everything. Oh, so there's an oil for all of this. Yes. Yeah. So go see go see Beth, and she'll be over at the Home and Garden Show just around the corner. I can't believe it's, it's like, coming up really soon. Or you can go, if you need them now, penniesforhealthcare.com, and it smells wonderful in here, by thank the way. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, Beth, thank you for stopping by. Okay, thank Appreciate you for it. having me. Appreciate it.